Welcome back friends. Welcome to getting started with Python. In today's video, we will be covering the Python vocabulary, like the few words that will be useful to learn going forward. So the first word comes is a keyword. So what is a keyword? Uh, keywords are the predefined words which has a meaning associated with it. So the, for the Python also, there are some keywords are available uh, which are listed right here. So you can also look for the keywords by uh, executing the help command and in the braces you can say keywords and it will give the list of all the updated keywords available in Python language. So we are using Python 3 here and uh, you can always check what's the status on keywords by using that command. So uh, we'll go over all the terminology first and then we'll go back to our IDE, uh, the, our online editor, uh, which is REPL that we are using to see how it works in action. So the next word is the identifier. So what is an identifier? So it's actually a name for a programming element. It could be variables, classes, function, and so on. So these words are new, I know, variable classes, function, packages, and module. Uh, we'll be covering uh, in going forward in the ongoing video, uh, in the next lessons, what these all elements means. So for now, it's just enough to know what these things are. So these are the uh, language elements and we use identifier or the name to name them. And there are some uh, limitations to give uh, for these naming conventions. So one of the most important is it can only use alphabets, uppercase or lowercase, and uh, numbers from 0 to 9, and the underscores. And there is, will be different uh, ways uh, when we will be using underscore at the beginning or later, and they will have specific meanings too. So any uh, so uh, there will be conventions uh, for for example for class uh, we have to use the uh, not have to use but it's more advisable to use the uppercase for when the class is starting and a lowercase for the variable so these are the recommendations but the main thing is as far as they are the alphanumeric alphanumeric means alphabets plus numeric and only the underscore is the only special character that's allowed to name these identifier the next word, uh, the term you will be uh, listening in the programming world is called statement or statements. So what is a statement? Statement is actually a line in when you write the instruction. It, that's a statement. So in Python, each line is a, uh, a piece of instruction or a statement. So if we want to write multiple instruction or statements in one line, you may want to separate them using the semicolon, as you see right there. The one another important thing you, um, that you may want to keep in mind, it's indents. So what indents is, it's so a Python program is indented by a tab. So, and it has to be aligned, uh, all the code should be aligned uh, in a, in one way so if it's not so for example the one uh, uh, so I have here a block of code uh, to demonstrate this so like there are three print commands so if my print commands are zigzag it will throw a compile time error so what you see, you're seeing here it's a block it called a function that will be covering later what it is and so basically it will be it's used to reuse a code but here uh, to demonstrate what a block of statement means, uh, I'm using the syntax for uh, the function. So here, uh, one takeaway from this slide is uh, all the code has to be intended by a, ta a tab or equally uh, intended, I indented. If it's not indented properly, then uh, you will get a compile time error. So that is something to keep in mind when writing Python programs. Okay, so now comments. So how comments in Python looks like. So when you are doing a single line comments or inline comments, inline means within the, when you are writing a code and in the middle you want to write, you will start with a hash sign. When 
you are doing a multi line like a multiple um, uh, lines that you want to comment out that you may want to use the three codes as you are seeing right there in Python the uh, the usual multi like that start with slash star uh, comments are not supported so keep in mind all right so it, it looks like we are done with this our vocabulary for these um, the minimum vocabulary that we need to get or get started with writing Python programs and to uh, move forward and the next as you saw we will be doing the creating with a variable in the next video and now I will hop on to the IDE uh, or online editor to see how what everything means starting from the keywords all right so this is my REPL uh, IDE uh, online editor and uh, so here uh, we have uh, I want to show you uh, so I checked out or cloned my repo from github uh, here in REPL so that I can um, can save my code in github so in here and in the basics folder I'm using the basics one dot py for uh, uh, for this particular uh, video and the, in earlier video we just wrote, saw how to write hello programming using print so we can leave it like that for now so one thing we want to see the keywords so we saw how we can use or print the keywords for a particular language so the uh, the command is help and in the braces you write keywords and now here to run it so in the python and we have no, so right now I am in the directory so as you can see you can do pwd here a present working directory that means and you can see you are uh, in I, I'm in the my basics folder so make sure you are in the same folder where you are executing your file so python and basics one so it, it will print hello programming from first line and it will print all the keywords that are there uh, in python 3 language and you can see so what these all uh, uh, um, these keywords are have a predefined meaning so false and say none and true this uh, false is the for example it's the state of a boolean and as you can see these are the only three keywords which starting from the uppercase and others are starting from all the lowercase and here like for class for defining and so on so we will be going over all most of these keywords in our um, in future lessons and we'll see what's the meaning behind each of them and the next thing what we uh, saw was identifier so what is an identifier identifier is actually the naming conventions for like alpha numeric and uh, we'll see in the next video when we'll be learning about creating variables we will be using identifier to name our variables but it's identified it's like iden uh, so we can uh, fiar so this is a valid uh, identifier for a variable name for example but we'll we'll be seeing it more in the variable uh, video uh, next video the another thing we covered was the statement so statement is a uh, instruction so we saw print hello programming right so if I write my print or I copy this code from here and I write here so this is my one statement and if I want to write multiple and execute it say hello programming and say I'm changing it so hello world so that we know and one more say hello Python for example and if I'm execute if I execute the same file it will print the first line right here the keywords and hello programming and hello world and hello Python so it takes one it, it takes this as a one instruction when you make them separated by a semicolon and the last thing what we covered was comments so as you can see when I'm running my file it's running everything so I may I can comment it out putting a hash a sign in front of it so now let's see what should be printed 
just these uh, three uh, commands so it's not printing as you can see all these things again so just to show we can use clear to clear your console and we are running python basics and you see this it's running only these three statements right here so now if we want to do the multi-line commenting so go back to the prior, uh, first state and i want to comment these three so th this is a three quotes so this we use in python to make it a multi-line and now we'll see the same effect it uh, printed just the three so these are the things that i wanted to cover in this video and in the next video we will be seeing how to create variables i'll see you in the next video